Good morning, everyone. I'm in the house. It's not as cold today out there, but it's dark still. I'm up early, early, early. Cece already went to work. And uh, so here I am by myself. Wow. I mention that every so often, right? Where do I live? Ah, total out in the... But it's rare that I'm here all by myself. It really is. So, had a lot of people in the house coming and going the last couple of weeks. And uh, I love it. Most, most of those people have dogs and they bring their dogs as well. Our crew's really good about having other dogs here. <clears throat> and so... I don't really clean a whole lot, right, in the, you know, when it comes to floor and floors and uh, other, certain other things. I just do the most necessary stuff because it's you clean and you got all the people here and dogs running in and out of the house. and Yeah, so I wait. So he really needs it now. Well, anyway, that's nice. A couple of years ago, CC as a Christmas present for all of us got us a vacuum cleaner you can strap on your back oh i love it oh it's just it's it's so easy to cruise around with that thing everywhere love it love it love it so we are in genesis 10 i feel like since i started reading the bible from the beginning it's like an emotional roller coaster in a way and i'm good with that i don't have a problem digesting things because I digest them <laughs> and uh, well anyway let's let's just go get into it I could make that that part over at the barn again yeah so much work to do so little time when it comes to so many things I'll tell you this one when I had decided to go back to Switzerland and take care of my mom, which didn't work out, uh, I made sure there weren't things still laying around here other people had to take care of, of for me. And one thing was I had all these journals. I thought, nobody's going to read them. First of all, they won't, they're not going to be able to. What? What? And so I kept a couple and burnt the rest. And when my youngest daughter found out about it, she just about had a fit. And I said, honey, it's not like you guys are all that interested in what I have to say when it comes to many of these spiritual things. This, I mean, they listen, they come for advice and stuff. But really, when it comes down to the my, my deepest thoughts, this and that about things I went through, how interesting is that to them, right? So I never thought anything of it. And you know, just said, well, they're going to be eventually just be thrown out anyway. And why don't I do that myself? And then, as I said, her reaction kind of to me was a bit odd. And I said, well, okay, well, what? maybe if you'd have shown a little interest <laughs> while I'm still alive. <laughs> okay. And uh, I thought, well... I'll just write my book online, talk my book online, make these videos on my channel. There's lots of videos on there. And if my children, after I pass it, they don't watch none of them either, by the way. <laughs> when my children are, when I'm gone and they feel like I told them, I told my daughter just yesterday, you can go and, you know, watch one, right? If that's necessary. So there you go, right? Yes. Well, if the internet stays on and things don't just get lost out in the universe, well, that's, uh, how do people do it when, oh, yeah, 4,000, 6,000 years ago, right? Well, anyway, you just keep the memories of the people that you love in your heart, right? Yes? Now we have all these, you take, you take, pictures, videos, galores, this and that, but seldom you see anything on the wall, right? Uh, yes, yeah, well, okay, 
my granddaughter, when she was here, before she left, she made a little art piece. Uh, and I, I loved it. So what did I do? Hung it right up on the wall. <laughs> I can look at it and remember the time that she was here, right? Yes? Okay. All right. Genesis 10. I got to be careful. I've been mixing up the numbers. I saw I had to change it again on one of the videos. Genesis 10, the peopling of the earth. These are the descendants of Noah's sons. Oh, we're getting back into that again. Shem, Ham, and Japheth, to whom sons were born after the flood. Wait a minute. What was that about? The story before where, where Noah accursed, accursed. I need to go and check out if that actually cursed, accursed. Like a preform of cursed. I don't know. Must have been some time after the flood. This time there seems to be so weird. They were born after the flood. Let's see. Chapeth. Let's see. So Shem, Ham, and Chapeth. So the son, now Chapeth, that's the youngest son. Well, according to how it's written down, but he's mentioned first. So he had first Gomer, Magog, the Medes, Japan, Tubal, Meshech, Tyrus. How many is that? One, two, four, five, six, seven sons. Holy cow. All from the same wife, I guess. It doesn't say it. Well, let's keep reading. Gomer's sons. So that's now Chapeth's son. Had Ashkenaz. Ripath, Togarma, he had three sons, Shavon's sons, wait a minute, that's another one of Chapeth's sons, Eli, Elisha, Tarish, Tarshish, the Kittim, the Donanites, Donanites, four. From these came the dispersal to the islands of the nations. Oh, they moved away. To the islands of the nations. Oh, well, these were Chapeth's sons in their respective countries, each with its own language by clan and nation. I feel like I'm not getting all the info here that this entails. There were Chapesans in their, their respective countries, each with its own language by clan and nation. Each by its... Why didn't they all speak the same language? How did they suddenly end up talking differently from each other? Weird. Ham sons. So that's the second one. Cush, Mizraim, Put, Canaan. Four. Cush's sons, one of Ham's sons. Seba, Havila, Sapta, Ramah. Subteka. Ramah's sons. Sheba. They don't. Wait, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. Ramah was one of Kush's sons. 
of Ham, and that was one of Ham's sons. So these are great grandsons or something already. Cush fathered. Wait a second. Mor. Nimrod, who was the first potentate, potentate on earth. What's that? First po potentate. What is that? Oh, I've got to go look it up. He was a mighty hunter. Oh, he was a mighty hunter in the eyes of Yahweh. Hence the same like Nimrod, a mighty hunter in the eyes of Yahweh. <laughs> the mainstays of his empire were Babel, Erech, and Akkad. All of them in the land of Shinar. Oh, first empire was built. <sighs> okay, guess that's important for man. Oh, look. So what? So already, the desire of man to own a lot of land and own, a, like, build these huge okay, empires, right? started there. Well, sounds like God wasn't against it. Again, maybe they just fixed it so that in their own mind it wasn't, well, that's got to please God. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. I don't know. From what I know in his, history when it comes to that stuff, they messed up more than anything else. Well, anyway, not all of them. There were some good ones, and yet, again, when you live together in society, everyone has right, their strengths. Everybody has something to give, right? And, of course, we got to be able to receive things as well. But it should all be, okay, now it's, oh, so you're talking like equality for all, this, that. Why do I have to use words like that? Would it not make sense that, well, if you're all working together according to your strengths, so one has a little more than the other, right? But it is, doesn't get so out of hand that suddenly the ones who have more want to be the masters of the ones that have less, right? Yes? Not everyone has the same desires on the side of goodness, but it seems like to me here it's already the greed over for power and for territory is starting. Oh, and God's good with that? I don't think so. That's what I'm reading here. Others might think of it differently. Yeah, we all know what happened in Babel. Huh? <laughs> all right. Well, we know that's coming. That's interesting to read just to see, wow, I'm kind of realizing, you know, living in this time, oh, that's where, oh, looky there, the empire, yeah, instead of just, why does there have to be an empire? You got little communities everywhere taking care of each other, making sure everybody has enough to eat and a roof over their house, huh? Children not being abused, animals kept properly. Why do you need an empire for that? Right, guys? It's not daylight yet. You're not going out. We got something cruising around out there. Tore that boy apart there. Well, he's definitely going to have a battle score from that, huh? That's part of your ear. Haven't learned a thing. Haven't learned a thing. Well, no, you're going to have to wait. Go lay down. Well, uh, it's going to have to be daylight before I let you out. Right? Mm -hmm. Too many bite marks on you, too. Yep, I have to make the decision here. Not going to be. Right? That was very sad when you came home all bloody and tore up. Huh? You're good to go right out there again. You're going to have to wait. All right? It's for your own sake. There. Okay, let's read on. 
Ay, ay, ay. Well, that's... Uh, from this country came Assur, and he built Nineveh. Oh, Nineveh. Well, that sounds familiar. Everything else, just all these names, is like, whoa. Well, it's a different language. Mark, I'm probably saying most of it wrong, but that's all right. I wouldn't want anybody that doesn't know Swiss to have to start pronouncing them words. Reha, Rehaboth, Ir, Kala, and Rezin between Nineveh and Kala, this being the capital. Now, oh. you know, that's another one too. So here we go. We already have a main city. Why do we have main cities? Why do we have capitals? Well, that's because, no, I'm not getting it. Right? Not getting it. Again, why do, do people have to be governed by a greater body at all? Right? Why is that necessary? I'm not getting that either. You know, where then out of one particular place, capital, city, yeah, most likely, uh, big, big pop populated, becomes more important than a little small community of 10. Well, anyway. Yeah, I said, what did, what did we do to ourselves when it comes down to it? And where has it got us? It's just one mess after another. I just saw a video where people talking, you know, about the problems in inner cities, this and that, and then how, you know, people promise this and that after when they want to be voted in someplace, then they get the votes, and then they don't, don't do nothing about what needs to be done in certain places. I'm going, why are you waiting for someone else to do something? You live there. You live there. You do something, right? Yes? Find the root of your problems. I've talked about that in other videos. Why are you waiting for someone else to do what you should be doing, right? Why, you want someone to come clean your house for free, too, because you're too lazy to do it? All right, just say, dear me, yeah. So weird how people think out there. But anyway, so there it is. Don't expect anything to happen if you're not willing to start it yourself. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mizraim fathered the people of Lud, of Mizraim. Who is Mizraim? Sorry, I gotta go look. You see, that I need. A, I want to know. I know. I said. Oh, here he is. It's one of Ham's sons. Mizraim fathered the people of Lud. Oh, oh. Now it's not just about having a son. Having sons. He fathered the people of Lud, of Anam, Lehab, Naptu, Pathros, Kaslu, and Kaptor, from which the Philistines came. Oh, wait a minute. But the Philistines, weren't they kind of the enemy? Wasn't it the Philistines that... David and Goliath at their showdown. Oh, interesting. So, however they built up their empires, the sons of Noah, man, it didn't take them long, huh? To fall right back to where before the flood. It seems like. I think that's why small communities, right, are just better. You have there is some oversight. Everybody has some oversight, right? On what's going on. And one can oh wait a minute, we have a little problem, a little problem here. Let's find out how we take care of that, right? Yes? Which goes right along with what I saw this morning that was very that's that's what why I'm a little bit cranky <laughs> I saw something had to do with a child 
And uh, I was shocked over the behavior of the adults when it came to that child. Shocked. I used, It's like, wait a minute. Are you people, is this a child of six? Are you people serious? Right? Yeah, deflect. Or, as I said, we have these desires to do something. And we're using the misery of others to become famous with a book or a story. This is terrible. Absolutely. And then make it even worse. You have, ah, can't, I just don't get that. I'm not understanding people. I'm not getting it. Anyway, let's continue on. What, Daniela, just reading a bunch of names and get you all going. That's right. Because I'm seeing the beginning. This is the beginning. Genesis. And I'm already seeing. Oh, this is how all this started. Oh. Okay. All right. Hmm. Oh, here comes Canaan now, the one that was accursed and a slave to his father. Well, I guess he got on the, on the away from that. I'm not getting Okay, all right, all right. Daniela, I know. Canaan fathered Sidon, his firstborn, then Heth. And the Jebusites, the Amorites, Girgashites, Hephites, Archites, Sinites, Arvadites, Samarites and Hamatites. All right, I'm, I'm assuming that all these tights with the name in front of it was somehow the, the elder, right, had a certain name, and under that elder, whoever was under that elder, those were the tights. Not the tits. Itis, 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 ites. So there were all these smaller tribes, but they were, right? On their canon. Oh, interesting. Later, the Canaanite, there we go, clan spread out. The Canaanite frontier stretched from Sidon all the way to Gerar near Gaza. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, so <laughs> right there, we all know about Gaza. Who doesn't know about Gaza and the conflicts there? Well, here would be, uh, well, they actually do have the right to, and again, really? Why can't they just live in peace in that stretch to get together? Right? What is the big deal fighting over a piece of land like a stretch of land like that? Huh? I'm not getting it. <coughs> I just don't. Yeah. By now? Well, anyway, what do I know, right? Yeah? Everybody mad at each other. For what? Yeah. Useless wars. Useless conflicts. Why don't people just stop that theirself and say, you know what? Why don't you just play Risk or something on the computer together, right? And have your fighting stuff going by the rest of us who well, actually has to live here, try to grow food, you know, raise our children, have families, raise our children, this and that, right? Just live in peace and do our thing. Live without having to worry, am I going to get blown up tomorrow? I mean, come on. I'm just saying this is just ugh, insane. Nobody wants to just give in. Okay. All right, we're done with it. This is not good for the people. We're losing civilians. We're, you know, if this isn't right, you, know, you shouldn't lose soldiers either. There shouldn't be any 
soldiers at all. Just ain't right. Well, anywho, here we are. And all the way to Sodom, Gomorrah, oh, well, oops, Adma and Seboim near Lisha. These were Ham's sons, by clans and languages, by countries and nations. Oh, okay. Shem, too, fathered sons, being ancestor of all the sons of Eber and Japheth's elder brother. Huh? Well, that... Oh, okay. All the sons of Eber and Japheth's elder brother. All right. I find it funny how they put certain things in there. You're going, well, yeah, I know that. But I guess it needed to be mentioned again. Shem's sons. Wait a second. Oh, he gets a little extra mentioned before we start with the sons. Shem's sons, Elam, Asur, Arpashad, Lud, Aram. I find it interesting that Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Shem, it would be the oldest one he's mentioned last. Oh. Aram's, okay, it's Aram. Aram's sons, Uz, Hul, Gather, and Mash. Oh. Arpashad, who is that? Oh, that's one of Shem's sons. Okay, Arpashad. Arpashad fathered Shalah, and Shalah fathered Eber. Oh, that's how they say. Shem, too, fathered sons, being ancestor of all the sons of Eber. Okay. He, to Eber were born two sons. The first was called Peleg, because it was in his time that the earth was divided. How? Huh? Beleg, because it was in his... Oh, so Beleg means what? Division? The divided? It was divided. Divided into what? Doesn't say yet. Might never. And his brother was called Yoktan. Yoktan fathered Almadad, Shalef, Hazarmaveth, Yera. Hadaram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal. What? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obal, Abimael, and Sheba. Oh, more. Ophir, Havila, and Jobab. <laughs> All one woman? Yeah, I doubt that. Could be, could happen, but maybe not at that time. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen sons? All these were sons of Joktan. Wait a minute. Did, oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Busy boy. They occupied a stretch of country from Mesha all the way to Sephar, the eastern mountain range. Oh. These were Shem's sons by clans and languages by countries and nations. That's a lot of sons. No girls. Jake, what do you think? They had no girls. You guys, it's almost time. Not yet. Let the wild ones go to sleep first. Or at least farther down. That they're out, out, out at night. You guys don't have to wait. I'm not letting you out. Go on. Go. Lay down. Uh-uh. Nobody no. No, no. Such were the clans of Noah's descendants, 
listed by the scent and nation. Oh, from them, other nations branched out on earth after the flood. You know, as I said, obviously not all people right, were died during the flood. As I said, I think that's a little different. It's it's a it's a story to be understood in a certain way, but to take it literal, because we all know what incest does, right? Well, there that didn't seem to be any incest going on. Maybe some, maybe that's why all the bad decisions were made, right? People not being able to think clearly due to the fact that, yeah, okay. But I'd say there were others and, well, it's debatable. Okay. <laughs> I'd say there were other tribes out there right that noah's uh, descendants came across and formed certain alliances or got the wives as i said it's all about the men right doesn't seem like women had uh, a whole lot to say <laughs> we are definitely not mentioned so uh it's all about the male lineage right? but just fine i don't have a problem with that but it kind of would be nice, you know, if you, if you, I mean, it seems like in the beginning when God created man, the species, uh, in the way it is mentioned that he created male and female, right? At least we have a mention there. Yes. In the image of God. So we're not just an afterthought. We've been created with a purpose as well. So it is what it is. As I said, I don't have a problem with that. I just notice it, you know. <laughs> I get it. I'm happy to, you know, be under the guidance of a man. You know? If he is a good man, you know? a hardworking man, a kind man, knows right from wrong, right? Right? A man that has a heart for God, a heart to mind for God. I'm good with that. Anywho, so looks like 10 was, and Genesis is the, on how tribes were established. Not just tribes, it sounds like areas taken over right yes and uh populated anywho but what we just i kind of learned just so this is how right? they only mentioned that one time the empire part right almost as if they no they weren't no? It was just the one who had his empire. Which one was the Japheth first one? And one of his sons built up the empire. Then in the other ones, you didn't see that again. It's almost as if, well, we mention it because it's true. But did we do the right thing? Was that the right thing? The right way to do it? I don't know. Just think. It's to try to put yourself... Your heart to mind, according to the stories in the Bible, to put yourself so many thousands of years back into the mindset of the people then and on how they started things again or on how they were directed. Right? Yahweh was mentioned also one time. Where the empire comes in. Interesting. Again, how is this set up to already to fix things that then man feels comfortable continuing doing, continue to do it? Even though, uh, uh, right? Interesting. 
Now Yahweh was good with number one, a hunter, very happy to see he was the best hunter. But weren't they all hunting at that time? Uh, so he was what? Super special? Eh, again, yeah. why is it in there in the way it is? To already somehow, well, it said it's there. We're good. I have nothing against hunting, okay? That's very necessary. We'd be overrun by wild animals otherwise, right? I mean, use them for food. You don't just go out and poach, you know, poach. You don't just go out trophy hunting. That's, I find that abominable, okay? And who does that? Poor people go out trophy hunting? No. No. These guys are patiently waiting. Say, it is getting light out there. You have to wait a little longer, guys. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right. Well, I better finish up, right? It doesn't have to be so boring reading all them names and stuff. I'm fine. Oh, well, what happened here? <laughs> right? How did that all come to be? Why are we in a certain mess we're in? Why do certain people have to go through all these horrors of being slaves, this and that? Why did others become so rich that, that they just about had someone cleaning them on in too? Right. And was it all sanctioned by God? Or little by little, even in the beginning, right? our ancestors fixed it so that it looked like, yep, yep, we got that in there, yep, yep, if anybody asks, right? But it's not consistent. It isn't consistent. That's right. Yeah, gotta go. God's love and blessings always, and we'll talk to you another time.